Good afternoon and welcome. I am Dr. Stephen Shepard and I'm a firm supporter of Arts by Creative Design. My doctorate is in higher education leadership, therefore I'm supposed to know a bit or two about education. As we find ourselves debating about the effectiveness of distance learning during this pandemic time, we wonder as parents and teachers about how the widespread closing of schools might impact learning loss for our students. This period of crisis and uncertainty in our nation's history is a time when the arts are most critical. Crisis breeds creativity, and these creative bursts are not always just about fun ways to pass the time. They can also lead to vital discoveries. Isaac Newton, for example, first mulled over the law of gravity when he was on his own self-isolation during the bubonic plague. Scotch tape that we all know was born during the Great Depression as a means to repair rather than th throw out broken and torn goods. Creativity is a vital ingredient in innovation. And that just might be the key that saves us all. Because from here on, oil and gas, even if we could find more, will bring us decreasingly less and less revenue. We have to build the future of Trinidad and Tobago on the creativity and innovation of the citizens of this country. Unfortunately, our education so far has generally actively taught us how not to think. Yet, we are very high academic achievers as measured by examinations. The mighty Sparrow summed it up succinctly and accurately when he sang, If my head was bright, I would be a damn fool. I ask you, therefore, to listen to the Calypso, Dan is the man in the van, as if you were hearing it for the first time. Reflect deeply on the lyrics and understand the damage that was done to generations of Caribbean citizens that has resulted in us being dependent on the first world countries for almost everything that we need to exist. Smart schools and educational systems worldwide are investing more and more in the arts as a critical ingredient that is vital to developing critical thinking. The arts bring us comfort. The arts bring a smile to people who are grieving, people who are out of a job, or who are struggling with social distancing. It is that human connection that we all need. It is now that we need to lean on the arts to give our students and our species the boost of positivity that we need. The arts supports wellness, bridges the disconnect of social distancing, and increases critical thinking. It is now proven that art in education is an instructional strategy that both engages students and helps them to achieve. The arts sparks our neurons to fire and connect ideas. It screams of creativity under pressure, and it is incredibly exciting to imagine how all of this innovation might catapult our educational system toward a more creative future. I therefore urge you to believe in the mission ahead of you. There can be no turning back. We now know that the majority of our Generation Z students are kinesthetic learners who have to do, touch, and feel in order to learn. A few are still visual and oral learners. Think then of how you can use music, dance, drama, visual arts, theater, and all other aspects of the art to teach calculus, history, literature, trigonometry, languages, accounting, business, physics, chemistry, and biology. 
Others are successfully doing it and having fun. And so can you. Our students and the future of the country are dependent on you. Do enjoy the rest of your day and have a productive session. Good evening and bye.